Huh. You're not the boss, are you? What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do. But testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! <laughs> But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, are you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. <clears throat> Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. All right. Let's get out of here. Pretty sure we got everything from this area. Uh, wait, I want to see if there's something in my backpack. I don't think it is. 
Damn, no, it's not. Actually, I want to check something quick before we leave this area. The area that, uh, what's his face is in? Sokolov. Never check that for any supplies because, well, we had to leave it quickly. Got scenes, you know. Make sure there's nothing in here we can use. Alright, now we can go. Before any of these assholes start to wake up. Teens. You okay? Those men were from the Ocelot unit, Spetsnaz. Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished. Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Look. Shagahod, the treading behemoth, a tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain? Damn. Oh, yes. And without support from friendly units. A nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. Is that thing finished? No, this is only the end of phase one. It won't be truly finished until we complete Phase 2. Phase 2. The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. A world War. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please, take me to America. Quickly. Finish the cutscene and I will. They cannot complete it without my help. Got it. Let's go. Good work, Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me.
My friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Welcome back, boss. Now that all five of us are together, it's time we go to the depths of hell itself. It's raining blood. Is he crying? Kuabara, Kuabara. Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogan. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. What is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us Cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? Seen my face. We can't let him live. If Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. He must die. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. <clears throat> Jack, you can't come with us. 